Hello, I just thought I'd show you what I've been up to the last couple of days. One of my New Year's resolutions was to try and do a little bit of art every day, even if it's just um, a scribble or something, just to practice overcoming that initial reticence or fear that I feel every time I see a blank page. So this yellow sketchbook is my judgment-free bad art sketchbook, which I've mentioned in a couple of past videos. And so I think, I think I actually showed you these, the ones that I did on the 1st of January. So this is just a copy of a painting by David Parfit. So these were my interpretation of the colours. And I really liked that combination. So a couple of days later, I used similar colours, but to do a painting from one of my own photos. And these are just really fast, like five minute, quick throw some watercolour down on the paper exercises. And then another little watercolour sketch, but this time with some coloured pencil over the top. And I don't know if you can see, I'm absolutely loving this colour called Mindy Green from Isaro Paints. And it's actually got a slight shimmer in. I don't know if it can be picked up. It's not particularly noticeable and I wouldn't have actually chosen to have shimmer, but I'm willing to have it in order to get this colour. And then this was a very, I think this one was done about one o'clock in the morning. So it was actually the eighth. So what I've been doing is when I get to bed and I haven't done it, if I haven't done anything during the day, I just sit in bed and scribble something down quite late. And this was just colors based on uh, another painting that I'd seen somewhere. So I might use it as a background for something else. So because I've been doing them in bed, I've been using um, this Etcher palette and I've really been enjoying it actually. I've quite liked just kind of the fact that it can fit in my hand easily. I'll keep this on hand so that I can um, tell what some of the darker paints are. I haven't known where they all are yet. So I'll kind of line up the yellow or whatever, it's easily identifiable and have that nearby. And then I've just been using a Caran d'Ache water brush. I don't think this palette could be used very well with much larger brushes, but if you're just doing something small, then um, yeah, it's really, really pleasant to use. And I also got myself a little date stamp. It's just a, a cheapy one from Amazon. Because I've been adding coloured pencil on top of some of my watercolours, I've just grabbed a pencil case and had it next to my bed. So one thing I've been doing this week is making a colour chart, well, actually finishing the colour chart for my Prisma colours. I'd already done the first page. So I'd already done this with my luminance pencils. It's getting a bit grubby now, but I just find it really invaluable. Uh, they match up size wise really well. I'll put links down below to the pencil cases that I use. But I've had this for, I don't know, a good few months now and really, it's really, encouraged me to use my colour pencils in a way that I've not used them before. So I did, I've done the same for my Prisma colours. And then the Chroma Flows, which I got for my birthday, are in the back there. And this year, new to my colour pencil collection, I got the Derwent Lightfasts. I absolutely love these pencils, but I realised I've not been using them because I don't have a colour chart to help me get quickly to the right colour. I don't find the pencil ends quite accurate enough. Oh, and I've got my Derwent drawing pencils in the back there. So 
I've just finished doing the chart for my Prismacolors this week and I thought that I would start on doing the dough and light fasts today. So all I do is just, I've just got some printer paper, folded it and fold in my lines. And today I'm going to swatch out my Derwent Light Fast pencils. And I thought I might as well video it just in case anyone wants to look at the colours. There's quite a few similar colours in the set so it might be useful to see them up against each other. The other thing that I've done though is I've created my own order for the pencils. I didn't particularly enjoy the order that Derwent had arranged them in the box. Uh, which is the order in the pamphlet that comes with them. I felt like they jumped around a little bit, but also there were some ochres that were really similar to the yellows. Later on in the set. So I've grouped all the yellows, oranges, ochres and then all these orangish reds and the orangey browns I've just put those all together and then the slightly cooler browns are here with the greys then the blues and then all the greens so I'll just get on with that and I'm just using a Lamy Safari pen with a medium nib for all the writing so I'm filling in the swatch box by doing solid colour at one end of the box and then grading it down to the gentlest pressure at the other end.
Next I stuck the sheets together to make a kind of booklet. They're definitely absolutely beautiful pencils to use, very soft and creamy. This is the full set of 100 pencils and it has some really unique colours. In particular I find it really useful for the deep blues and natural olivey greens that it has. I do feel like it's missing out on some colour areas though. For example, purples, pinks and true reds, though these might be for light fast reasons. But I also wish there was a greater range of light and mid blues, dark greys and lighter greens. I still need to swatch out the Derwent drawing pencils at the back of the pencil case. But I'm really glad to have this chart done now and I know it's going to help me use the pencils a lot more. Hopefully this will have been useful for anyone trying to pick out some light fast pencils for themselves. Thanks very much for watching. Bye!